is a beautiful spring day and it's springtime in my home, our cozy little place. And I am just bringing you along today with what we have going on. So not a whole lot. It's just a day with homemaking and taking care of my three littles. I got my routine done in the morning. Uh, work out my devotional with my husband. He had a meeting to go to, so he left early. Um, then I did breakfast for the girls, and they like cream of wheat every once in a while. It's kind of like a treat when dad goes away. Not eggs, but have cream of wheat. And then got my little guy down for a nap, fed in a nap. He's having some sleep regression issues, which, you know, I know it happens, but it takes time um, and things will pass. But I'm just gonna enjoy my coffee. The girls are playing so nicely and I'm not going to interrupt that time right now. So I might get a little task done that I need to take care of that I wrote down in my planner that you saw me do and enjoy my beautiful flower arrangements that I have on my coffee table because like I said, it's springtime. I bought a few extra flowers from Walmart and I just am enjoying them and going to enjoy them before my flowers come into bloom. We're gonna enjoy the outdoors today. I have some things on my list to do for being outside, like putting our screens back on our windows, uh, transplanting a few other flowers in my garden, because I just wanted to rearrange it a little bit. And now is the time before everything is really coming up. So I'm gonna reheat my coffee. I'm gonna check on what the girls are doing and make sure they're well get a little preschool stuff ready and then work on some things I need to take care of on my computer and um, some other thing, tasks that I just need to get done um, unless I get interrupted. Then I will read to the girls and do just a normal homeschooling routine. But let's enjoy a beautiful day uh, in the springtime. Kitty cat, kitty cat, are you waking up? Not yet, mother. I'm a sleepy buttercup. Kelly. <laughs> Kitty cat, kitty cat, are you out of bed? Not yet, mother. I'm standing on my head. T, just took. Yep, okay, so that's the baby sound. We are outside because it is beautiful. It's mid-morning, and I am gonna put my take my sweater off and just wear my t-shirt and put the screens on on the window so we can have them open without bugs getting in. But I just love this time of year when the tulips are coming up my peony is coming up and it's just beautiful bright full sun today and so we're gonna enjoy probably the rest of the morning outdoors before lunchtime and nap time beautiful first bloom of the season other than one I had when it was snowing out but oh, the daffodils are coming up so pretty so I've been working on taking some of my decorative grasses out because I have these little stepping stones that the kids like to walk on and I get all grown over every year by July and so I'm trying to keep it so they can walk through it if possible look at this too I think these are like mini hyacinths that are coming up. Ah, so fun. I don't have everything all cleared out yet, but we're getting there. Well, we are off to a good start for the morning. It is now about 12.40. Kiddos are down for nap. Hopefully Elias goes to sleep well. Um, like I said, he's having a sleep regression. So yesterday he didn't nap at all and had to be held to fall asleep, which is unusual for him. Um, so most of my list is done other than I'm going to make some lasagna either to eat tonight or tomorrow because I have some cottage cheese that I really 
want to use up this recipe will either be on the blog now or coming soon. So it's a very simple lasagna recipe that I grew up with um, that I really enjoy making for um, more like for other people really. I eat, make lasagna for us like three times a year, if that. So it'll be kind of a fun treat to have. And then, um, yeah, I already got some of the gardening done and that daffodil blooming was so beautiful and those mini hyacinths. It's just like the perfect spring day. I can't, I can't even say it's beautiful. The kids had so much fun outside. They were playing in uh, the water in our aquaponics that was still there and getting all wet and watering everything. So they had to have a whole clothing outfit change. Everybody, even at last, crawling in the mud and everything. So it's just one of those, like I said, a perfect spring day if you can have one of those. Sun is shining, it's not real windy, and in South Dakota, that is a rarity on a nice day. The window's open, I feel a cooler breeze, and it's just, it's gorgeous. So I'm gonna quite enjoy this quiet time with prepping some of that lasagna and then, of course, working on a video and yeah, enjoying that. Um, oh, this afternoon, uh, later, I am going to a book club at a library. I'll take the kiddos and they'll play in a little play area that they have at the library. My first time joining this book club, so I thought I'd give it a shot and it just helps motivate me to read more because I need that sometimes. I loved reading, but ever since having kids, I have really not read as much as I should. So we get to go to the library later today and I get to enjoy a book club. This lasagna recipe is very similar to one my mom used to make growing up. It uses cottage cheese and usually mozzarella, but I like to use any cheese that I have on hand. So I'm just browning the hamburger, throwing in the onion, and just adding some salt. You could add some garlic. I didn't have any on hand at the time. And then you get going with layering it. I always like putting a layer of sauce on the bottom so it doesn't stick and just spread that around. And then you start putting the noodles and the meat and sauce mixture and then the cottage cheese and other cheese. And it's just one of those meals that is hearty and cozy and a comfort food for sure. And it's definitely one that's really nice because you can make it ahead and put it in the fridge if you want. You could even make it ahead, put it in the freezer, make bulk, whatever you need it for to give away, to keep one, to put in the freezer. So lasagna, as many of you know, is one of those great meals for in a pinch if you need to have it stored ahead of time. just stick it in the fridge and I am catching up on some of Hillary's um, videos for her edited vlogmas she's doing. So each year I like to get a new rug for our front and this one just says welcome. The other one gets gross having been out all winter long and I thought this would be really nice for our front little stoop so I'm gonna go put that out. day when I get to make my latte and so I let the girls watch a little bit like 20-25 minutes of a show once they wake up from nap and have their quiet time and I make my latte I might do a little more meal prep um fold laundry different things but making my latte at this time is really something I cherish and enjoy even if it means I take a couple sips and then we head outside um, it's just really enjoyable to have this afternoon treat. So I'm gonna pour my froth milk into my cup and enjoy that for a little bit while I then go feed my little guy. <laughs> back from the book club that was pretty enjoyable we had read a book called Sarah's Keys 
or Sarah's Key, sorry. So it was um, a Holocaust related book. I do recommend it, it was pretty good. Um, and it's just enjoyable to get other people's thoughts and opinions on what the book had to say. This next month we will be reading The Runaway Quilt. Um, so I will attempt to listen to it or read it and hopefully this will be, um, I think it's about slavery. Uh, so those are always good books, the war books. Some are very emotional. Just a second. Um, and can also be um, in depth a little bit on some of those more gruesome things, which I don't handle super well, but it was really good to talk about that last book and I'm excited for this one. But supper is in the oven because it's a little bit after five. Um, Blaze should be home in a bit. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna sit and read a couple of the books I picked up for the girls. So the lasagna was delicious with a side of canned green beans and pickled beets. I'm working on using up some of my canned goods. And then I cleaned a little bit up. My two girls and husband are at youth group. He leads the youth group at our church and they to take along. Elias is down for bed and I had a friend who has come visit and actually um, for about a half hour here. So that was just lovely. One of my really good solid friends. So anyways, I'm going to finish cleaning up the kitchen and wipe out the sink with barkeeper's friend, probably spot clean the floor a little bit, um, wipe off the stove and we'll see where the time is at from there. Um, yeah, it's nice to have this little hour, this little bit of time just to myself, listening to something, to my thoughts, um, in prayer, whatever it is while I clean and kind of just wind down for the evening. So I'm gonna get rolling on that so I can actually get done before my husband and girls get back. Mm -hmm. 